If you look back to the turn of the century, there was very little wildlife left here. It was heavily poached, heavily hunted. Grimedi Fund carries out all the conservation and community work on behalf of Singita. I started the original Singita Lodge with Luke Bales 24 years ago, where I was the guide, manager, I was everything except the chef. It's been wonderful to grow with this company. I first came here in 2006 and I have seen a significant increase, not only in the numbers of game, but also in the behaviour. The Plains game is very sensitive to the scent that the area is protected. And immediately they knew that they weren't threatened, they came back into the area very quickly. The wildlife populations have on average quadrupled. Buffalo numbers have gone from just under 600 to over 6,000. Elephants are also up from a couple of hundred to over one and a half thousand. We also have a project to introduce wild dog to the area, which has been very successful. We see wild dog on a regular basis now people who live two kilometers from the reserve boundary are the reason for this conservation success story. We want communities to see us as a positive partner rather than someone who's barring them access to resources that they used to have. One of the ways in which Singita is working closely with the Grimetti Fund is in providing a market for produce that's created or generated locally. There is one in particular who spoke to me and said that prior to his work in farming, he was a poacher. And so as we work to protect the wildlife and prevent poaching, we also at the same time have to work to create other income generating opportunities and to enhance skills and knowledge so that people can go on to pursue rewarding careers. 800 people are employed at Singidi Rometi and 80% of those people come out of the 22 neighboring villages. What's been achieved at Grimedi is nothing short of incredible. Everywhere we talk about wildlife populations crashing. Where in Africa do you get to sit and say, well, the elephant population has quadrupled. It really is a beacon of hope for conservation projects across Africa. If you can engage philanthropists and donors with good technical expertise on the ground, you can really achieve incredible things. Guests go away changed in some way, being more concerned about the future of the Earth and more concerned about conservation. And I really think we've achieved something.